Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. So in today's tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to create a chatbot that can capture user emails and automatically add them to a Google Sheet. This will be happening while also sending out a confirmation email to the user. And as you can already tell, this is an incredibly useful feature for collecting leads and quickly building an email list directly from your chatbot. So let's dive right in and I'll walk you through exactly how to set this up. The first step that we have is building the basic chatbot in Botpress. First things first, we need to build the basic chatbot framework in Botpress, which will later extend to capture emails. For this one, I'll be using a blank bot template here so we can start from scratch and then build it up exactly how we need it. The first thing that our bot needs is a node to ask the user for their email address. So let's add a text node that says something like, what is your email address so I can send you more information. This provides a little bit of context on why we do need their email. Next up, we need the bot to store the user's email response in a variable so that we can access it later. For this one, I'll just create email to hold the email address. Under the text node, click the plus icon to add a variable node and then name it email and configure it to store the value of the user's last message. Finally, we need a transition node after capturing the email to move the conversation forward to the next part of the flow. Add an expression node and simply return true so it always transitions. And that's essentially our basic chatbot framework completely set up. It asks for email, saves it to a variable, and then transitions to what's next. Now let's look at actually sending the email somewhere. The second step is integrating Zapier to capture and process emails. Our chatbot can now capture emails, but we need somewhere to actually send them to be collected. For this, we'll integrate Zapier to automatically take the email variable from our chatbot and then append it to a Google Sheet, while also sending a confirmation email. First, create a node in the bot and search for the Zapier webhook. This node allows us to connect to the Zapier automation. In this node, we need to paste the code that will form the webhook payload containing the captured email. The only part that you need to update in the code is replacing the URL with your unique Zapier webhook URL, which we'll get in a minute when we build this app. Let's also add one more node, which is a text response node for the bot to confirm that it got their email like thanks, we've sent you a confirmation email. The third step is building the Zapier workflow. Now we can jump over to Zapier and build the automation workflow that will process the emails. First, create a new Zap and use the webhook by Zapier Trigger. This will give you a link URL to paste into the chatbot code. The second step should be to create a new row in your Google Sheet. Make sure to map the email column to the email from the webhook payload. Finally, we want to add one more step to automatically send a confirmation email using Gmail. Populate the email field with the captured email address. And that's it for setting up the Zapier workflows. Now it's ready to receive emails from our chatbot and process them. Finally, we've got the fourth step which is testing. Our chatbot is finally built, Zapier is configured, and now let's test the full flow end to end. First, send the bot a message with a temporary email address when it asks for it, or you can just put a random email. It should respond confirming that it got your email, check the sheet, and your inbox. The email should now be added and an automated confirmation received. Once you've verified it's working as expected, you're all set to start capturing real emails. This is a great way to easily grow your email list on autopilot directly from your chatbot. Let me know if you have any other questions. I hope that our chatbot tutorials have been helpful for you. If you found them helpful, informative, or even enjoyable to watch, let us know by leaving a like and subscribing so you don't miss out on any future content that we make. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.